This video is about what release breeze is, uh, how the process works on a GitHub action, and the actual example will be a part of another video, and I'll share the link in the description. Release please is a tool designed to automate the release process of software projects. It was designed by Google, it is open source, and they use it to automate their own stack. For example, Angular uses release please, Puppeteer uses release please, I don't know, maybe other projects I haven't checked, but these two are for sure. Benefits of using release please in your projects is that you will ensure a consistent, efficient and error-free release process. And the uh, key features are of release please is that it automates versioning, change log generation, creates GitHub releases with detailed release notes, it supports projects with multiple modules or packages. First step in release please process GitHub action is the same as any GitHub action. It is scheduled to run at a certain time or triggers after a push is made to a branch. For example, it would be a central main branch. After a change is detected, a release please analyzes commits since the last release and it looks for conventional style of commits. Uh, those kinds of commits have keywords that translate well to major, minor or patch version. Patch version would be a commit that contains a fixed keyword, minor would be a small feature that uh, doesn't contain a breaking change, and major is anything that contains a breaking change. It can either be a fix or a feature, but it is breaking. If you were working only on build files or test files or only documentation changes, there's nothing to release. No version is created. After release please detects a version change, it will generate a PR, pull request, sorry, that you need to approve. And in that PR, you would normally find a version bump, so an update to the version number in relevant files, package JSON, uh, set a Python, uh, cargo toml file, whatever language you use, and automatically generate the change entries summarizing the changes since the last release based on conventional commit messages. Release notes. So Release notes outlining the new features, bug fixes, or any breaking changes included in the release. Updates to any configuration files that dictate how releases are managed. And any necessary updates to dependencies that are part of the release process. And once the pull request is reviewed and approved, it is merged into the main branch which triggers another action, and this action creates a git tab and a github release with detailed release notes. And the last step of this process is that release artifacts are generated and published. Okay, so this video covers the basics, what release please is, uh, how you can benefit of using this process, and I explain the actual steps. In the next video, I'll show you an actual example of a monorepo setup in GitHub.